Billy is an early style of music that mashes rock and roll with other genres like country and blues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dating back to the 1950s, this rockabilly lifestyle continues to attract people to this day. <laughs> That's right. On tonight's Someone to Know, Andy Guevara introduces us to a local a group of locals who dress and drive just like the 50s, and now they want to share it with you. Rumbling cars and motorcycles, leather jackets for the guys, red lipstick for the gals. It's not just a style, it's a way of life. Team Rumble is this week's Someone to Know. It might be the classic cars that grab your attention or that can't help but get you moving music. There you go. Or maybe it's the glamorous pinup girls. But there's no way a rockabilly gathering doesn't at least pique your curiosity. Faustine Flam said the lifestyle lured her in a few years ago. The hairstyles, like feeling good, feeling pretty, uh, the time that you take to get ready, all the people you meet, and the dancing, it's just really feel good. And it's family friendly. The members of Team Rumble in Reno even bring their kids to rockabilly events. We live it as much as we can. We embrace the lifestyle and we're trying to bring it back into the community. A lot of us, we have that old school mentality, so we have, we're very polite. We're a good group of people. This May, Team Rumble wants to share the lifestyle they love with Northern Nevada. Faustine Flam and Cody Valera are co-producing Reno Rumble, a rockabilly show at the Sands. Definitely a lot of cars, motorcycles, music, dancing, pinups, of course. We are preserving Americana. We're kind of like the museum curators of this entire culture. We're keeping this going for all the little ones and all the kids and the future generations. The May 13th event will be held in the parking lot of the Sands in Reno. There will be traditional rockabilly music, and dancing, classic cars and motorcycles, plus a pinup pageant. You go back to burlesque stars like Dita Von Teese and, uh, you know, you go to Marilyn Monroe, Betty Grable. There's a bunch of different styles of pinups. It's people that just love to model for this culture specifically. I always do my makeup the same. Uh, if I have the time to wear the outfits, if they're not too constricting, I will definitely wear them just because I feel beautiful in them as well. Jenna Allison and Faustine are pinup girls and together they run the Burnout Betty's clothing company. The name Burnout Betty is a nod to the women who flag cars during drag races. We love to have fun. We love America. We love everything that this stands for. With someone to know, I'm Andy Guevara. The best makeup and hair ever. For tickets and more information about Reno Rumble, head to KTVN.com and click on the blue news links button.